All right, guys, I'm in the warehouse here and just wanted to put a little bit of video behind my post. Um, I had a post, if you haven't read it, it's on Medium, what's the difference between an A4 and an A3 device. And here I've got an A4. Obviously, this machine is not um, all the way set up yet, just came in. It is a Savin Rico IMC 4500, one of the new intelligent machines. Um, awesome, they've got a touch screen. You know, very nice. This is an A3 device, meaning it can handle paper sizes up to 11 by 17, probably 12 by 18, especially through the bypass here. But you can see the footprint, it's pretty standard. Um, you know, you wanna make sure you've got a good three feet by three feet at least for this system to go in. And then if you're gonna add any kind of, um, you know, finisher or something like that, especially if it's not an in internal finishers go in here, and this one's just got an exit tray, but you can have an internal staple finisher in there or the external, which would go on the side. I wanna show you the difference now. There's an, a couple of A3 devices over here. We've got a little one right here. This is a Savin, this is a very small one, Savin MP301SF. And I mean, you can see the difference compared to me. This thing is very small footprint, probably less than two feet by two feet. Still has paper drawers, and you can configure this with uh, um, four paper drawers at least, maybe five, I can't remember on this system. But much smaller document feeder capacity, you know, probably 50 sheet dock feeder. Um, it's only going to handle paper sizes of up to eight and a half by 14. You know, it's a smaller device. Um, still can, you know, this one particularly is black and white, but a lot of these A4 systems can handle color. Um, they're just not as robust. They're built for smaller work groups and smaller monthly volumes. Here's another one. This one's down here. This is a lease return. It's heading back. Um, this is an MPC 306. So this one is a colored device. You can see there's a difference. This is a bigger touch screen. It's got the smart operation panel that Rico has been putting on these devices. Whereas this one is just physical buttons. So it's physical buttons and an LCD readout, kind of the traditional, what you used to have, I don't know, five, six, 10 years ago. Um, this one actually is the touch screen and it runs Android operating system. So, but again, uh, if you read my post, a little bit smaller document feeder capacity, probably 50 sheets here. You know, it's, um, it's just not, they're not built as robust as an A3 device. So you wanna be careful how much volume you're putting through them. If you want all the capabilities, uh, as far as color, scanning, printing, um, scan to Dropbox, scan to Google Drive, all those connectors and everything, uh, but you don't need high volume and you don't need 11 by 17, an A4 device is a great option for you. If you need heavy duty finishing, booklet finisher, hole punch, uh, I mean, look at this dock feeder on this thing. This, you know, this is a 45 page per minute color machine, but this document, I can't open it. This document feeder is a beast. And if I look in there, you can see the uh, paper capacity. If I remember correctly, these IM machines can handle 220 sheets in the dock feeder. So imagine if you're an attorney or you're a, a um, real estate company or whatever, you're a realtor, you might have a huge contract that you need to scan. This is gonna do it. Um, this, this dock feeder is a single pass scanner. That's the other thing. I didn't mention that in my article, but single pass scanner is gonna scan both sides of a page in one pass through the dock feeder. Whereas these ones over here, they're gonna to have to scan one side, flip the page over, scan it back through the dock feeder. So your scanning is, is slowed down on those other devices. Still quick, but not as quick as something like this. This is probably like scanning at 200 images per minute. So it's a, also with the smart operation panel, you can see it's got the um, near field communications. So you can authenticate with your smartphone. You walk up, you put your smartphone near the, the panel and it's gonna log you into the machine. So tons of capability here. But those are just some of the differences between A3 and A4. And um, A4s are, are great solutions for the right environment. Just make sure that you're putting it in the right environment.